Hello there and welcome back to the Tomarosa. Today we're talking all about tractors. You may remember if you watch our other videos that we do have a video out about our farm all cub and why we think that's a great tractor for uh, small farms and homesteads. And we're gonna build on that in this video. As you can tell, we have two tractors and we use both of them regularly. And so we are going to talk about some differences and some different roles that they play and why one is better than the other, depending on the job. Back when we were uh, looking for a new tractor before we got our new Holland, we'd ask our farmer friends, you know, what's the best tractor? You know, we have one, uh, one friend, he has pretty much every color you can imagine. And they all pretty much said the same thing. It boils down to who gives you the best dealer support. A lot of times if you're getting a small tractor and you're going to get it new, it will be under warranty. And if you have to get warranty work done, which invariably you probably will, it's nice to be a little closer to that dealership. Plus also ordering parts. First up we have our 1954 Farmall Cub tractor. We love this tractor. It was our very first tractor. Uh, we got this within a couple years of buying the farm here. And if you've seen our other video about why we think it's a great tractor for a small farm or homestead, we still stand by that. Even though we have our New Holland, our bigger tractor, uh, we still stand by that. It's a uh, gasoline powered, it's got a little four cylinder engine. Um, some of the drawbacks with the Farm All Cub is the hitch system. It's not a standard hitch system. You can't use standard three-point uh, implements with it. And the PTO. It does have a PTO, but it's not a standard 540 PTO. It runs a lot faster. I think it's around 1800 RPM and in the opposite direction. Uh, the splines are different and everything, so you can't even hook up uh, a 540 implement to it. Um, but if you have the cub implements that go along with the tractor, it's very versatile. And one of the main things that we use this tractor for on the farm is mowing. Uh, we have a sickle bar mower on it. It's a mid-mount mower, which we love because instead of having to look over your shoulder all the time and getting that farmer's neck going on, it's right there in front of you. It's easy to keep an eye on. And this is how we cut all our hay. This is a sickle bar mower, and basically what it is, is there's a whole bunch of scissors running down this bar. This bar is in the up position now, but when we mow, it's actually laying uh, flat with the, the land, and it just goes through and it cuts the grass, it snips it off. The nice thing about a sickle bar for doing hay is it just cuts the grass off once, and it just lays down, and it's spread evenly so it can dry. If you use other types of mowers, like a rotary mower, it tends to chop it up. And that's what we don't want when we're doing hay. So we use a sickle bar mower for our hay. Another good thing about the Farmall Cub is maintenance. As we mentioned on our previous uh, video about it, the Farmall Cub was a very, very popular tractor. And because of that, there are still a lot of them around today, which means there's still lots of parts available. Mechanically, they're pretty simple tractors. Uh, so with just a bit of mechanical skill, you can do most, if not all, the maintenance and uh, any other jobs that you need to do on the tractor. This is our newer tractor. It is a 2013 New Holland Workmaster 40 horsepower. And you may think, well, it's Farmo Cub. It's such a wonderful tractor. Why do you have another tractor? The main reason is right here. This is called a front end loader. The main advantage of this is, as you can tell, it can pick things up. You can put different implements on the front. Right now we have our forks on the front. This is great for picking up anything that's on a pallet. You can also move these forks to make them narrower or wider. We use it to lift things on pallets, move hay. We have a pallet we've made into a work platform so we can be lifted up in the air to work on things. So it's very versatile. We also have the front end loader bucket that we used a lot when we were building and we still use to lift things. One thing to think about when you are looking at a newer tractor with a front end loader is how do you attach your implements. Here we have a skid steer quick attach. 
When you have these levers in the up position, you can then move these shoes away from the implement. It is a quick way to disengage. Here is our front end loader bucket. You can see a little bit easier how the quick attach system works with that shoe. How it just hooks in under there. So you can drive up and you can hook in Another reason we got the newer tractor is it has the standard three-point hitch and it also has your standard 540 RPM PTO. The standard three-point hitch allows you to put on most new tractor implements. Here you see we have a back blade. We use this for plowing snow and we can also use it to move gravel around or grade the driveway. So you found a tractor you think you like, it's at a dealership near your place, you've got the quick attach, it's the right size, looks like it's the right price. The next thing you need to do is go actually get on the tractor. You want to make sure that it's easy to get on and off, that everything is within your reach. If you're a woman, you know, you have smaller hands and shorter legs and arms, so you want to make sure you can reach all the different things and then take it for a test drive. And so you definitely wanna make sure that you find a tractor, even if it's right price and has all the right things that you think it likes. If you hate working on it, then it's not the right tractor for you. So this is what the dashboard looks like on our tractor. This is a very simple tractor, it's a Workmaster. So there's no frills, there's no cup holders. It's got a really nice open platform, very easy to reach different handles. We have done a lot of good work with this tractor. Another thing that you are going to need to take into consideration is what type of transmission. Our tractors are both manual transmissions, which means you have gears that you have to go through with a clutch. The other option would be a hydrostatic transmission. Instead of a clutch and a gear shifter, you basically have uh, two pedals. One's a forward pedal, one's a reverse pedal. Uh, so when you're out there looking at tractors, just make sure you explore your options. Both of our tractors have draw bars, so any implements that are draw bar pulled, such as our disc harrow, our chain harrow, our manure spreader, uh, hay wagon, uh, all of those types of implements that are just pulled from a draw bar, we can pull with either tractor and we use both tractors with all those implements as well. Another thing to think about is how much horsepower. A lot of people can argue about how much you need. This is 40 horsepower. This works well for our farm. It runs the PTO and the equipment we need to run. The front end loader can lift, I think about 1,500-ish pounds. That is within what we need to lift. So don't just be caught up on, oh, I need this horsepower. Think about what do you need a tractor for? What implements do you think you're gonna run? How much do you think you need to lift? and then choose a tractor and the horsepower based on that. So now we're gonna talk about money. Uh, we'll talk about our Farmall Cub first. Uh, we paid $2,000 for the tractor and that included the implements with it. So the implements that were included with the Farmall Cub is the sickle bar mower. We also got a front blade uh, for plowing snow. We got a disc harrow with it. Uh, we got a single bottom mold board plow for plowing the soil. And we also got a belt pulley that can go on the PTO. So we've had our Farmall Cub for about 10 years now. And um, if I were to sell it now, I would probably try selling the tractor by itself for about $2,500 and I would probably include all the implements and sell it for about 3,500 uh, if I had any, uh, any inclination to get rid of it. Don't put in the comments that you wanna buy our Farmall Cub though, because we are not selling it. Just trying to throw out there some numbers you might expect when you're looking for a Farmall Cub. And then, is our cat still on the tractor? What are you doing? He's a farm cat. So our new Holland we bought in 2013. Brand or, new. Brand new. It was around $25,000. And that included the front and loader bucket. And we also bought a wood chipper that went on the rear on the PTO. Since then, 
We bought this back blade for about $600, the pallet forks for $600, a brush hog for $400. Yep, used. All in, when we're looking at tractors, new tractors were about the same price as older tractors. They hold their value very well. And if we were going to try to sell this tractor nowadays with all the implements, we probably still try to sell it, I don't know, close to that. Yeah. So we're very happy with the tractors that we bought. And it's the not for sale bought. either. <laughs> so we're very happy with the tractors we bought and the price that we paid for them and how they held on to their value. As you know, on our farm, if you watch our other videos, we use our tractors all the time. We have uh, started our farm back in 2010 when we bought the property. We came up with kind of a 50 year farm plan. So we're 10 years into that. Part of that included us doing all the work and not killing ourselves. So we do use our tractors and they have uh, made it so that we could farm here successfully. Well, it's about time to go do our milking chores. And we hope that you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about some of the small tractors we have here on our farm and maybe get some thoughts if you're looking at tractors. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to our videos. We really appreciate it. And then that way you can get notifications or it will pop up whenever we have a new video out and you don't miss all this awesome YouTube videos that we're doing. All right. All right, let's go.